I'm Karumi Mori in Tokyo. Get ready for the rise of young super coders from India where they're already making their mark in the developer world. We meet one special kid coder who says her hobbies are drawing, dancing, and coding. Take a look. I want to own my own company, you know. I want to become someone like Bill Gates. My name is Rajania Rajani and my hobbies are coding, drawing and dancing. My favorite thing about coding is that you can create solutions to problems and you get to invent new things. Hiranya is one of many elementary school students in India who have been learning to write software code. Online coding classes were taking off even before the COVID-19 pandemic accelerated the shift to online learning. Why did we sign up Hiranya for coding classes? Today, we believe uh, technology is a need of the hour. We do not think today that you can uh, stick to the traditional ways of schooling or education where you are taught geography, you are taught uh, Hindi, you are taught uh, languages, you are taught uh, civics. These are things which not necessarily have an application in life. The classes have given her more uh, systematic approach to a lot of problems. Uh, coding is something about breaking the logic of a task. You need to know how to do a task in steps. That has changed her outlook uh, in general. And uh, coding has also made her aware of the technology that is going on around her. India is a hotbed of experimentation in e-learning. Coding startup White Hat Junior was acquired by a Bangalore-based company Baijus for $300 million in August. The company has over 120,000 students and at least 12,000 teachers. So I have almost 55 students with me right now and my all students are so much hardworking, they feel so much enthusiastic, they feel so much full of energy when they enter into the class because one hour of coding is equal to the eight hours of a normal study, the science believes. And I also think that it cheers up their mind from all of the studies, academics and the burden they are having with the exam stuff and everything while creating these games and applications. Its classes range from $25 to $35 an hour. Its eight-hour beginner packages teach coding fundamentals, and the 144-hour package goes all the way up to programming for space simulations. Coding is a career critical skill. See, today, a, a small kid also has a mobile in his hand. And can I stay without a mobile today? No, I cannot be not connected to the world. Coding is just not about programming. There are a, a lot of aspects of coding which you take further. I want to own my own company. You know, I want to become someone like Bill Gates because he changed the world by inventing the world's biggest software company. Joining me now from Bangalore is Saritha Rai from Bloomberg News. Saritha, why is there a coding class boom in India right now? Online learning um, has been taking off in India even before COVID, but you know, the pandemic confined a lot of children to their homes and uh, that has accelerated the boom in online learning. Parents worry about keeping their homebound kids productive during the crisis. Uh, many parents feel that children need to learn to code proficiently rather than passively play games or spend time on social media. And there is the feeling that coding is a constructive activity and that it balances India's um, sort of rote learning and, uh, uh, and makes for more critical uh, thinkers of, of students. So coding is being uh, called the Lego of Generation Z, um, the so-called Zoomer generation. The Lego of Generation Z, I like that a lot. So what does this say about the landscape of India's tech industry then? So India has um, 1.3 billion people and a lot of Indians uh, look to the tech industry for uh, better paying jobs, um, more aspirational type of living. So the technology industry, uh, starting with the ID services industry in the 2000s, has become a job magnet for a lot of Indians. Um, and then came the startup boom, a uh, uh, lot of investors pouring money into uh, startups and making unicorns out of those. So there is the feeling that, you know, India can, Indians can aspire to become successful entrepreneurs as well. 
uh, of course, uh, coding startups are fueling that uh, sort of feeling by uh, aggressively marketing their startups' online lessons. So a lot of Indian kids uh, uh, are being pushed towards online coding classes by their parents who think that this is a pathway to success. Sounds like there's a lot of good coming out of this, but are there any concerns at all surrounding this trend? There is a lot of concern about uh, children being pushed too young into coding. Um, children as young as four or five or six doing online lessons, being stuck uh, in front of a screen when they should be playing outdoors or socializing or picking up skills like empathy or a love for the environment. Um, there is also the uh, feeling that a lot of parents are rushing into um, coding lessons paying upwards of $10 to $35 an hour or, you know, for fear of missing out. And um, India doesn't need, um, one, certainly doesn't need hundreds of millions of coders. Uh, India also needs uh, specialists that, um, you know, can, uh, you know, take to other professions such as medicine or or health, you know, or, or education or, or even construction and, and government. So there is a fear that, you know, a lot of people rushing towards coding is going to, um, you know, make talent become um, deficient in a lot of other professions. So there is, yes, there is a huge uproar over the marketing hype of coding lesson startups. Yeah, sounds like finding that balance will be key. Our own Saritha Rai from Bangalore. I'm Kurmi Mori, and you're watching Bloomberg Quick Take. The biggest stories, the moment they happen from around the globe. Subscribe to Bloomberg Quick Take now for insight in an instant.